Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play. Welcome back actually to Let's Play. Sheep Dog and World. Third level. The girl is right there, as you can see. And right off the bat, we have two items, but they get stuck there. In the sea on the sea so. But we also have Dr. Duck over here. Let's see what he wants. Okay, time to learn something new. Bushes aren't the only thing that can help you hide. You can use rocks, too. Look at the size of those rocks. Hey, if I were you, I'd hide behind them. Come close on one side of this rock and press the stealth button to camouflage yourself. Tell you what, you can practice with me. No thanks a lot. Actually, it's really easy. Using the stealth button and you press the, the rock, as long as you don't move and you keep the, bu the stealth button pressed, you can't be seen. Well, you can't be, you can be seen only from the front side. Of, if someone's in the front of you, obviously will see you. But anyway, how do we get those items? Well, if you go this way, there's not a CISO. And we can go this way. Mm, there we go. And there's a nice little thing you can do here. Push this, and you stand still. You get crushed by the, by the rock. But the items will be there. But you can move during that same that cutscene. That is not a cutscene, but you can move around. So just push the rock and move away, and you can collect the dynamite and the rocket. Obviously, the rocket is meant for you to go that way. So, let's do it. And let's deactivate it. Okay, let's see if we remember how to do this. So, obviously that pile of rocks must be blown by the dynamite. But you can place it over here, God damn it! You gotta place it over this left and then lift it up. How do you do it? Well, let's go this way first. Let's collect some... Let's pick up, actually. Let's pick up Latouge 5 Latouge. Now, in the steal a sheep first and foremost. So, let's go this way. Sam is here, so we gotta be careful. Let's hide this way. So, what we wanna do is, when he turns around, just move from one rock to another. Be careful that it doesn't see you. Come on, turn the other way, turn the other way, turn the other way, there we go. Do, 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 do. I turn the, that way, thanks. Now, without letting go the style button, press the S button and select your latitude. And the ship will follow you. And where you go, the ship will follow you. Come on, I, alright, oh just in time. Go, 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 go. Turn the other way, dog. Doggy, doggy, turn the other way. Yay. Turn the other way. Turn the other way. You know what? Take that sheep. Eat that. Thanks a lot. Okay. So what does this button do? Oh, so let's check. This button activates that one, and this button, that gate. So I'm putting the ship over here. But the way you do this is actually another one. You push the ship near the button so you have the time to jump over the lift and get lifted up. Alright. Order something. Let's go over here. What we got? Get the elastic and jump on the seesaw to start the training. Okay, the seesaw, which is right down here. Oh, boom! So we get, we have the elastic. What does the elastic do? Well, let's check out. This is a new item. Elastic. By attacking just one end, you can take a fine leap and bounce back up by trying it. 
by tying it between two trees, it can become it becomes a catapult. Sorry, to take off, scratch the elastic, and jump. Okay. Basically, there's this tree, for example. We can now go down, and perform some actions, and then go back up. I think it's just yeah. If you go too far away, you get bounced back up. What we need to do? We actually need to move the sheep from a button to another. So we just place the toads from here to there, and then we place it one over here. So the sheep will move, pick up, and then we finally jump on the button. Yeah, okay, we knew that. We just did it. Find out to make this pile of rocks explode. Okay, so we use the elastic ones more. We go down. And we put the dynamite, we go back up. We press the button. And bang! And there we go. Made it. Press the button and that thing opens. Uh, we're almost done here. Uh, let's go for the elastic once more. Now I'll tie the elastic one to this tree and the second part to this one. That's how we do it. Look at this. You can launch yourself now. Like this. Uh, that. There we go. See, I can launch myself. The... Why do I do this? I want to go back. And because of that. There we go. Woo -hoo! I got lots back at the beginning. Here, I will find another rocket and another dynamite. Pick up the rocket, and I activate it. Now, thanks to the button being pressed, we can go this way. Alright, let's go, and here's our clock. And once I've done that, this thing will open. And I can jump down. And I'm back here in the sea so Now, what I need to do is pick up a ship. Okay, right? Alright. And I need to throw the ship back at the beginning. Ah, well. Use your fantasy, man. Uh, putting the ship over here. And then. Nope, the other way, thank God. Nope. Uh, from this side, I can actually pick up the rubber, and once I'm ready, BOOM! And now, I have to do the same thing I did before. Alright, I'm fine. Now, let's just pick up the ship. Let's go to the goal. Where is it? There it is. And one more victory! And next time on Ship Dogging World, we're going to the next level. See you guys then.